Blog Talk Radio. Looks like we had a little bit of technical difficulty. Yeah, maybe about three minutes worth. But um glad to be here. Uh Stead Hicks dialing in for late night parents. Uh you can find me on Facebook, Facebook dot com forward slash late night parents, Twitter dot com late night parent. Or you could find me also as the real Ted Hicks. Our website, uh, I usually call it a letter portal, latenightparents.com or lmp.tv. Multiple ways to find us. Uh, where do I get, even get started? It's right now. It's early in the morning, less than 24 hours away from celebrating. My daughter's birthday, she's turning 14, so I guess I'm feeling a little nostalgic, feeling a little bit older, feeling a little bit uh, accomplished, as you can, uh, my wife and I have, you know, over the last 14 years, been raising her, um, I'm really happy with the product that we're um, currently molding. So really excited about that. A lot of topics to to cover on this 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 podcast. I've just named it news and notes. There's no guest. There's no intro music. There's no uh, plugs or anything else like that. Though we have a lot of people to thank, because I think the last live show I did was prior to Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, I think that's that. That was it. I'm not sure if I did another show or not. Um, in between that time, I don't know it's, it's a little murky. It's a little murky right now, but um, yeah, I think the last show we did was talking about. Um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and prepping you for what to be prepared for. So, hoping that everyone's enjoying the holiday and you're festive and attending holiday parties, um, you know, with your colleagues all over. Hope we're all doing the right thing and not drinking too much, not eating too much either, making a fool out of themselves. Um, Of course, not getting behind that wheel when you've had a drink or two. Uber is your friend. Your mobile app, I mean, you get to the point of your mobile phone is your friend. But um, I've got top 10 items, top 10 lists for news and notes. And I'm just going to say, you know, the usual, we talk education, technology, project, product reviews, um, most of the guests that we have come on are parents, and they're pitching their ideas or their, their startup companies, um, so none, none of that tonight. News and notes where Ted Hicks shares the latest of LMP, of Ted Hicks talks on LMP with lots of topics to cover. So, 10 items to cover. Um, They vary. We're going to jump into um, this past, I would say about a week ago, um, I got a phone call from a friend. Um, You know, being in the position I'm in, so I'm in information technology, 
uh, more on the lines of site administration, overseeing a, a client site and managing those expectations. I, I do that. And it's more like a 24-7 job. But uh, I would say about five years ago, I've taken on uh, the fun part of the IT where I could say, you know, you kind of branch out. It's becoming that blogger, becoming that influencer. And I had the opportunity to um, get a phone call, like I said, about 168 hours ago, where things started brewing a little bit. And I was given the opportunity to attend the um, Jets-Giants game this past Sunday. And boy, was it a barn burner. So, um, and of course, when, you know, someone reaches out to you, there's certain things that have to happen, you know, messaging and approval from vendors and, 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 and you know, all of that stuff happened. Um, Got to say a big thanks and a shout out to Procter and Gamble. Um, also, uh, another sponsor for this was Key Food. Uh, we did a blog on LMP that talked about the New York Jets, the New York Football Giants, and Key Food. And the hashtag was the closest rivals. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar. I mean, those that live in New York are familiar with, um, you know, uh, Rangers Islanders, um, Yankees Mets, Knicks Nets, that type of, you know, uh, internal rivalry, um, you know, for the tri-state area. But um, on the... Late Night Parents site, I put up an article. It was totally, you know, full disclosure. It was sponsored by Procter & Gamble. But, I mean, my opinions are definitely my own. And I just talked about, you know, key food, the key food stores, uh, cooperative, um, you know, incorporate, you know, owns various stores, you know, founded in Brooklyn uh, back in 1937. And talks about the stores in the tri-state area, you know, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, also in Pennsylvania. I mean, little did you know, like, a place like Key Food, uh, a business like Key Food, the headquarters are on Staten Island. And there's various um, subsidiaries that fall under that that, that Key Food Stores Co-op, Inc. I mean, and I was in, first introduced, as I put in my article... Um, growing up in Queens, Laurelton, Queens, in the 1970s. You know, that was one establishment. It was three blocks away from my house that I would frequent, that my parents would always send me, go to the store and go pick up this item. And I would walk down the block or I would ride my bike or whatever like that. But key food was that one mainstay. And this is before, you know, the path marks of the world. And as you know, like, you know, the path monks of the world have come and gone. Um, and those that are remaining, I, I think it's a very small footprint, <clears throat> if even. But um, the one great thing about it is the work that I did with Key Food this past week and Procter and & Gamble allowed me to attend the 13th face-off between the Jets and Giants. And I did that at MetLife Stadium and we were there bright and early, me and my buddy Eric, friend of about 30 years. I would say at least 30 years. When the opportunity uh, presented itself, he was the first one I called because um, earlier this year, I had planned on attending the Jets-Eagles with him. A very funny person, someone, like I said, a confidant for more than 30 years. We had a great time. We were razzing those Giants fans out there. But um, the Jets were able to pull it off in overtime, 23-20. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick had an unbelievable game. The Giants, for the fifth time, I guess, this season, um, leading in the fourth quarter, have lost the game. But um, 
you check out the Late Night Parents website, you're going to see the article in regards to the closest rival um, highlighted on there are videos by Eric Decker and Prince of Mukamura. A really nice, good plug. A really great day for um, friends and people that were out there tailgating for early in the morning. Uh, we'll go real, you know, we'll, we'll segue into OTT, Over the Top TV. And we have an article coming out on LMP called, Are You Down With OTT? And uh, it was a play of words off of, Are You Down With OPP from Naughty By Nature from, you know, close to 20, eh, 20 25 years ago, that song that came out. But uh, um, it just talks about OTT. Over the top television is going to be a big hit for consumers this festive season. With 54% of the viewers around the world planning to use an online TV service. I mean, but 45% of those subscribers are planning to cancel their subscription immediately or within six months. So with LMP, we did some research that was carried out in Australia, Brazil, Germany, Singapore, the UK, and USA found that around 25% of consumers already use an OTT service and further 27% are planning to go OTT this festive season. Uh, it gives the full breakdowns of people that are already using it, planning to use it, and the percentage of consumers considering um, signing up for more than one. So we have that breakdown, um, an article that's going to be out um, in the AM. I mean, you talk OTT, you talk Internet streaming, it is the hottest thing out there. Why? I mean, be for one, being an IT professional, done some work in the AV world, um, it is the thing. I mean, you're, t you're talking about cord cutting on, on steroids because even the large providers are looking at these solutions. Why? Because the subscription base continues to erode exponentially. So what do you do? You, I mean, are you just going to sit there and, you know, this whole place goes to hell, your, 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 your listener base, your viewership is in the toilet? People, I mean, if we think about it over the years, and I've said this on several other podcasts that, that I've participated in or um, interviewed subject matter experts, Traditional TV had a great 50-year run. Millennials, the way TV is being consumed, totally different now. I'm going to watch it when I want to watch it versus I'm going to watch it when you tell me this episode is ready. Okay? So, a lot of great stuff with that. Um, I use it in my home to stream... Um, the CBS network, CBS News Network, that's running twenty four by seven. You know, so it's it's I do it for um you know my makeshift way of, of how I stream is through um combo of uh, um you know my laptop, a Vizio T V that I have mounted, um some of the smart apps that are on there. Um, like I said, it's it's a combo of things, but folks, if you're not into it, you got to get into it. Whether it's a Chromecast or Apple TV, uh, Amazon Fire, um, you name it, Roku, it's there. It's there. It's waiting for you. I'll go quickly, you know, to segue into, but not totally getting off the topic is Apple, the NFL, its network, and Thursday Night Football. You know, there's there's talks out there, grum, the rumblings going on out there. The NFL rights could be worth a quarter of a trillion dollars to Apple or, or Amazon. Um, there's a lot of talk going around. There's an article on 
Forbes.com, 